Welcome to episode 6 of our distinctly visual series. In our last episode on Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, we looked at how the fight scenes informed the visual storytelling. We will now start looking at specific techniques to break down specific scenes even further. So in this episode, we'll be looking at the bird's eye view camera angle. Hi, I'm Sir Peppy, and welcome to Room A7. Let's not get things confused. The bird's eye view camera angle is not similar to the high angle. This particular shot is pointed straight down into the ground and its point of view tends to be quite limited. It is a camera angle that's used often in MGN's golden age of film when they created countless dance and musical numbers. Also known as a top shot, this angle was loved by Bubsy Berkeley to show moving patterns of dances and because of this, this angle was often used in kung fu action films to punctuate the choreography. It was also occasionally used in westerns during shootouts or to show a character's isolation from the rest of the world. It can be used to demonstrate a character's inevitable fate as the angle can sometimes be known as the god point of view. However, when we look at Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, it can be easy to assume that the angle is used to emphasize choreography and that's it but it can also emphasize key points in the story or plot. So, notice the emphasis of the weapon's pattern, and we can still see the hand and the eyes move. Combined with a fast-moving dolly forward towards Master Lee, and we have now reached the final, sudden and immediate resolution. You could also assume Ang Lee was thinking of a potential Western audience when he placed Jen on the left side of the frame and Chu Lian on the right, the way that audiences in the Western world read text and images. As the fight scene progresses, Chu Lian, through her skill and her power, slowly wins the left side of the frame as she learns how to overcome Jen's skills and the power of her sword. It is a beautiful moment of storytelling as we see Xu Lian progressively make her way towards the left. We even get to see a funny moment emphasized with a Dutch angle, with Chu Lian on the right as she is mocked by Jen. We will cover the Dutch angle in another episode. What makes this fight all the more appealing is how the action is shaped, the movement, rhythmic, through the use of the bird's eye camera angle. When Chu Lien is wounded, she is thrown back into the right of the frame, and Jen escapes to the left. In the bamboo fight scene, we don't get to see any bird's eye camera angles. This probably suggests that both Master Lee and Jen are too high to look down on, emphasizing the relationship Lee wants with Jen as her master, her teacher. In the film's final scene, we see a transition from low angle to high, and then a bird's eye camera angle. What this means in terms of plot is an essay for another episode, but in terms of meaning, we see Jen return to the earth. This is not about choreography anymore. This shot resembles death, or even fate, as Jen accepts what awaits her in the afterlife. We look down on her as the weight of her actions reaches its crescendo. Her final, selfless act in a life full of selfish ones. I'm Sir Peppy, and this was Room A7. Mm -hmm.